Welcome to this Techquipment VDAS support video. In the previous video, we covered recording data manually and using the time data acquisition feature. In this video, we will be looking at saving and exporting data. Once you've recorded some data in VDAS, you can save it by going to File, Save, or pressing Ctrl S on your keyboard. From here, you can select a file location and name to save it to. VDAS uses the .dat extension for its saved data files. These data files not only contain all the recorded data, but also the current window layout. When you save data in VDAS, the VDAS connection is automatically stopped. This allows VDAS Mark II live trace data to be captured. To open a data file, go to File, Open, or press Ctrl O on your keyboard. VDAS is free to download, and you don't need to have any VDAS equipment connected to view saved data. This allows you to continue analyzing your recorded data at a later date, or even from a different location. The current window layout information can also be saved separately as a template. Creating these custom layouts will be discussed in a later video. VDAS also allows you to export your data to Microsoft Excel. To do this, click on the icon in the toolbar, or go to File, Export to Excel, and then select a file to export it to. If you do have Microsoft Excel, this option gives you the greatest flexibility for adding your own calculations and charts retrospectively. However, you can also create custom calculated fields and generate charts using the built-in tools in VDAS. This has the advantage that calculations are updated in real time from the input fields. This will all be discussed in future videos. You can set the default folders used to open and save data and layout files by going to Options, Preferences. These default directory preferences are unique to each user. And that's it for this Techquipment VDAS support video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them here on YouTube or via Facebook or Twitter. Thank you for watching.